welcome to another Pumped Up Chefs tutorial. Today I will show you a new way working with a Starpoint 20 inch to make a base. This is what I mean. Using two star points here, 20 inch, I can assemble them thus, allowing to put bubbles or foil balloons on top and make really sturdy, long lasting air filled arrangements. This is how. I have two star points. Nowadays, they're available in gold, in silver, and in rose gold. We used to have many more other colors, but no longer. But maybe you still have them. Go for it. We can use a hand pump to fill them with air. Or if you're lucky enough, like I am, you may have one of these mini Cool Air Dual Pro inflators from Premium. And they are just a tad quicker. Now that I have these two star points, I would like to connect them here on top together. That can be with the two nicks in the same direction or like so. That will be totally the same. There's enough space and material to make a strong connection by just tying them to together. So, strong, strong, strong connection in between these two. Now, this needs to be folded all together and what I will be using is 260 cues. I can cut these in two if I find my scissors. Yes, here they are. And I simply roll this up and tie this in. I will do so with all four sides. Great. Now I pull, pull, pull this very tight from one corner to the opposite corner. And tie this off in the middle. Again, two opposite corners. Pull this all very tight. Find the middle again. And tie this off. I do not need most of these anymore, so I will cut three of them away. As you can see, I now have a base, but I will need some kind of weight to keep it properly down. So I will choose. For instance, 
a sand weight. Now to make the sand weight, I will be using one six inch quick link. And just to make it, uh, sorry, just to make it a bit stronger, I will be using a five inch double stuffed in here. Other than that, I have here a bottle, could have been plastic, this is a glass bottle. It is just a coincidence that this is a Corona beer bottle. <laughs> and this is what I will use to fill this balloon. First of all, I will stretch and inflate this balloon. Let me use this premium twin air sizer, who is a very strong inflator and easily can inflate even double stuffed metallic balloons. Now I want to stretch this over the bottle. Lucky, luckily for me, I do have this stretching tool. So now I can use this stretching tool to simply put this on top of the bottle. And now that I have this, I can simply have the sand filling my weight. If this does not come down quick enough, just squeeze a little bit and inflate some air up back into the balloon and you'll see how easy it now becomes to have this sand coming down up to the point that you are happy with the weight. Now, obviously I need to close this off, but when you close this off, you will capture quite some air. And then you'll see that it is not that easy to create a shape and keep it in that shape. So I would suggest You eliminate all the air here. And once you close this off, you will see how easy this now becomes to make all kinds of shapes. And that's just because there's no more air left inside. And in this case, I prefer to have a rather flat shape like this with the tip of my quick link facing downwards. As said, I could use any kind of bubble or any kind of foil balloon. I just happen to have a foil balloon here, even topped with the little shape. This is something that I have from a previous class, still properly inflated, and I will be using this one. Now, some scrap 260Q. I roll this in, tie this off very, very tight. And this is now what I will use to connect this to the weight. So now comes the moment you will understand why I'm using this quick link because now I will start feeding this weight in between the two star points. Can you see it coming out here? Well, I pull it all the way through and this tip of the quick link is what I use to attach it perfectly in the middle of, oops, again, perfectly in the middle of these 260Qs that I had here as a connection at the base. So I have, in one go, I have the connection of my top balloon 
and I have a perfect weight, as you can see, to keep this construction down like this. And the rest is finishing off. So, what will I use to finish off? First of all, as you can see here, I will be using two bigger round balloons. Well, bigger. These are inflated to about six inch. I like to use chrome balloons because it's something that works with the soft colors that we have in here. And I consider the chromes as being soft as well. So these, what I'm using would be the seven inch chrome balloons, different colors. So for instance, there's purple in the design. I can use purple. Mauve is another color that would work as well to go with it. To make the connection, I will work in a diagonal way. So I will attach the round balloon to a 160Q or 260Q position and then take it all the way through to the opposite corner here. Let's do this. Opa. So I said, for instance, six inch. Make it nice and round, stretch this balloon. And as explained, attach to 260Q or 160Q. Take it from one side all the way to the opposite top side. And simply tie this off. We will use this bit of 260Q later so you can leave it. But this is now how this is positioned. Let's put mauve on the other side. Two sixty Q. Take it in. Opposite corner. And here we go. Step one. I now want to finish these here, like so. And this can be done with one balloon. In this case, I used a five inch. Let me continue with more of the seven inch chrome. If using a hand pump, give it maybe two pumps. That would result in something like a three and a half, I guess, inch. Tie this off and now make what we call a split twist. Squeeze. Squeeze in about the middle, leave two different sizes. Now make sure to squeeze this well so it becomes as round as possible. And you can even turn a few times around with the remaining neck. That as soon as, soon as you will attach it with the remaining 260Q, No more fear that this will come undone. 
like so. The opposite side, I'll use a blue. Split. Feel free, feel free to add in more details, uh, ribbon, feather, uh, tool, flowers, anything you wish. But what makes this design very good is the fact that now we have this surface that we can personalize. So I can imagine somebody will be very happy. If suddenly they will see their own name I hope I'm holding this about right <laughs> yep. is Jessica turning nine or six let's make her nine So obviously you understand that I made this with a cameo silhouette. As by now, most of us probably already have. Yay. Here you go, Jessica. Congratulations with your ninth birthday. So I've shown you this one with a bubble, which is exactly, exactly the same system as I've been showing you here. I have another one there as well. And this design, this very, very actual <laughs> design is one I made uh, exactly seven weeks ago it's air filled it's air filled long lasting and by the way uh, chrome balloons seem to me as holding the air even better so seven eight weeks old still as perfect as the first day so i hope you enjoyed this class this tutorial showing you how to make sturdy simple basis with these Starpoint 20 inch. Did I do this already with Starpoint 40 inch? Yes, I did. And then I have been putting on top, for instance, uh, shapes like the, the animal faces. Give it a try. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. <laughs>